Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial and it is a protective style. It's going to be this hair bow that I have on my hair right now. And I'm going to show you all how I do my hair bow and I hope you guys really enjoy this video. It was a lot of fun making this video. Please stay tuned in the video. I'm going to tell you guys what you need for it. It's really quick, simple, easy do that basically anybody can do thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe right, this tutorial all you will need is if you want to slick your edges down only reason why i'm slicking my edges down because i'm four months post so i had a little frizziness going on in the back so i used my eco styler gel to slick that down and i brushed it with a paddle brush wide tooth comb some bobby pins and an elastic band and what i did is and this is totally optional you can take some flexi rods and overnight you can just flexi rod the tips of your hair so that will make it easier to curl over so i'm gonna go ahead and start taking these down really quick Okay, you guys, so next, since I want the hair bow to be like on the side of my head, I'm just going to start brushing it or combing it in that direction. And when you're combing, make sure you're combing lightly. Do not just rake through it because that will cause breakage. So I'm just lightly combing my roots over. So right now I'm just positioning it where I think I want the bow to be. So now I'm just going to take my elastic band, take my brush and just make sure that the brush, that the edges are slick, slick as I can get them. My hair is kind of thick so I can't slick it down really flat so I think this is probably going to be good enough or is the best I can do it for right now. So this is where the hair bow is going to be. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a piece of hair in the front. And what I'm going to do with this hair, I'm just going to braid it. And I'm just going to braid this like really loosely. I'm not going to braid it too tight, but it's just going to be a little loose. What I like to do is at the tip of my hair, I like to twist it a little bit. And you guys may have seen me do this before, but when I twist it, um, I have a little bit more control over the hair. So that's why I twist it in so I can just pull it like that. Instead of the pieces like being loose and flying everywhere. So now I'm just going to start rolling this backwards. And I hope you guys can see this. I can start rolling this backwards. Like so. And I want a big type of puff. I want like a really full looking puff. So I'm just going to curl it under and just fluff it out as I go. Just keep curling and fluffing it under. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. So now I'm going to take some bobby pins. And I'm going to start pinning underneath the roll. Okay, so right now I just put two bobby pins and that's just to just tack it down for right now. I'm going to add more bobby pins in a second. So now, and make sure when you're puffing it that you're covering up your band right there because you don't want your elastic band to show. Pop a bobby pin right there.
And now I'm just going to take this piece and I'm going to pull it around the bun. And I'm just going to bobby pin that, that piece on down back there. As you can tell that my bow is starting to look like a bow, except I don't like the way it's looking right now. So I'm going to start by cleaning this up. So I'm just going to start cleaning it up a little bit and making it look a little bit more neater. I flattened this part down a little bit more. All I did was pull it tighter and then I bobby pinned that down a little bit more so that the bow would be a little bit more poofy and puffy because that's what a bow looks like. A bow is right in the middle and fluffy around there. So I just wanted to make it um, look a little bit more like a bow. So that's what I did. And you can continue to fluff it until your liking. But I think this is perfect for what I'm going for today. So you guys, I'm going to spin around really quick so you guys can see it and check it out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you try it. And if you do try it and you video record it, please do it as a video response to my video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you like this tutorial. Bye.